we're going to make these clay faces. They're going to be a lot of fun. They're going to be like vases. See the hole and you can put um, the artificial plant in there. So we're going to give you a slab of clay and you're going to have this circle template and a longer template. And you're going to basically, first you're going to draw around the rectangular template with your skewer and then your circle template. And then you can take them off and then we'll go ahead and uh, cut all the way down to the canvas. Like this. Okay, and also see how I'm cleaning my skewer when I make a, every time before I cut. So just remember that, that's a good technique. And then the circle, I'm gonna go all the way down. I'm keeping my skewer straight up and down. This will be the base of the vase. Okay, and then I'm gonna lift this up. Now we wanna keep the rest of this in the slab for now. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my base here. Now you can always uh, kind of smooth the edges. So I like to smooth the edges here. Okay, and then basically we're gonna we're gonna wrap this around the base. And so we, we made this a little bit longer just so that you can uh, attach this, overlap this a little bit and smooth it together, like so. Okay, and now what we're gonna do with this extra little piece of clay that I had, I'm gonna make a small coil. And this clay is very soft, it's easy to work with. So I'm gonna, see I'm kind of spreading my fingers out we want the quill to be of a thin quill because we're just going to place it inside and that's going to help it uh, to seal it. So I'm going to take it like this and you're just going to put this inside here. So that where the, the two meet the bottom, you're just going to smooth this inside here. Okay, so then with, um, we, we have, we don't want to use all the clay because we can still use some of this for the eyes, nose, and mouth. So I'm going to cut a piece about like this. Yeah, I'll need about a little bit more. Let's see. Okay, and then we're just going to roll this into a ball. Now you don't want to uh, play with this too much because you're gonna, the more that you handle it, the more it's gonna dry out. So you wanna quickly roll it into a ball and we're gonna make it into a pinch pot. So, okay, I'm gonna take my thumb and I'm gonna make like a belly button. And this is my hand and my flapper. My hands are, my fingers are straight like this as a flapper. And I'm gonna push the thumb against my fingers and I'm gonna rotate. and I'm pushing the thumb against my fingers. Okay, now also something important to remember with all this clay is that you wanna make sure that all of your walls of your clay are about as thick as your pinky finger. You don't wanna get it too thin or it's gonna break. Even like my pinch pot here, all my walls are as thick as my pinky finger. Okay, so now I'm gonna, um, Keep pushing out here, rotating until I get it the way I want it. It's gonna be like my face. Okay, now I'm gonna set this in here and then I'm basically going to 
push, see I'm pushing this in with my thumb to make a hole in the pinch pot. I'm going around like that, smooth it out. Rotate it around. And you can always, if you want it rounder, I can always take my fingers inside and kind of push it out and make it rounder here and make it the shape that I want it. In fact, when you're doing this, it's good to have your fingers in the back so you can smooth it. 